Hi guys, I'm back again with glare and a haul, and this is part three. Now, I had to pick up Cookie Emma from Sugar Plums, and I picked up Emma from Simon Says Stamp. Um, gosh, I can't remember the price on her, but she was under seven, eight dollars, and I picked her up uh, last week when they had the ninety-nine cent shipping, which was actually they give you five dollars off of your order, but since shipping is five ninety-nine up until seventy-five dollars with them, I just took you know the ninety-nine cent shipping. But how cute is she? I thought this would be perfect to do and hang a tag off the cookies and the candy that I give out around the holidays. So, that's Cookie Emma. I actually found out about Cookie Emma because Carol, who is one happy crafty chick, did a video on her card where she used Emma. So as soon as I saw that, I had to run over and pick up the stamp, but that darn Carol had bought the last one, and I couldn't wait two days while they got it back in the shop, which I should have, because I ended up not getting my order from Simon Says for about eight, nine days. So anyway, long story, Simon Says stamp, but... Make sure you check out Not Too Shabby Shop on Zibid because I picked up these stamps. Coffee Kiki LaRue. How cute, right? I thought this might even be cute to do like a Christmas morning layout when you got your coffee and your hair and curlers. I actually have a picture of me getting ready for a wedding and I have hot rollers in my hair. But I thought, you know, that might be cute on that layout. But this is just adorable. And she's pretty big. Where's my dime? So this kind of gives you an idea. I really appreciated I am so sorry for this glare, guys. I really appreciated the great service from Jamie. I'll be going back, that's for sure. And I got Pie Brigitta. And again, you know, sometimes I just don't make a little something for us. And I'll make something for the neighbors or my in-laws to send to them. I don't think there's any gift better than food. And I thought this would make a really cute little tag or card. And also, I'll probably use it in my layouts. Those two, once again, came from Not Too Shabby Shop on Zibit. These next items come from Two Peas in a Bucket. And I guess I got a little free gift. I was watching Shauna's video, who is ShawWeb28, I think. Anyway, she was saying she got some uh, washi tape from my mind's eye in her last shipment from 2 P. So I'm thinking there was a free gift from my mind's eye and two peas and this is what they sent me it looks like some kind of Halloween chipboard it's very nice I guess I'll share my papers first Nah, let me share my embellishments I bought these little stickers mini messages from Webster's pages they were like a dollar I bought the little Christmas trees from Studio Calico. I picked up some of the itty bitty bags. These are like 15 cents, 25, green and red for Christmas cards. And this cute little one, I thought I might use this on some of my beach layouts. But these are great, uh, 
I also bought the glassine ones. These are like five by seven. And I thought they'd be great to put little goodies in. And some craft ones. Uh, or your Christmas cards. This is the Snap Studio sticker icons, guys. And I've already busted in and used some of them. Uh, awesome was right here. But let me show you all of them. And this comes in a sealed pack. This is awful cute, like little washi tapes made out of it. And it's a very good strong card stock, by the way. And see, I use those too. And I use this one. I really like this. I'm not sure of the price, but I think it was under $5. I used a couple of these. These are a, about the size of a quarter. They almost look like little flare buttons. I used this one. And it said, oh snap. Enjoy the everyday. More washi tape and pennant cardstock. And this is the last one. Can you see that cloud? It has like writing on it. I used the, one of the little Christmas tags. Very, very cute. I, I'm not going to buy the whole collection of the Snap from Simple Stories, but they do have a few cute items. Now, this is from Basic Gray Clippings. Look at the bottom. A little added that's the best part isn't it that's the B side and I bought it for this side I love the air mail stripes and that just looks like three letters stacked up there this is also basic great clippings and you guys have probably seen this, but look at once again the edge of it. I'm loving, I'm loving the little extra strips. And this is the flip side, and this is called flannel suit. This is my little shoe box. Vintage shop. And this is called French Lace. I just love the clouds. And this is the flip side. I actually like this too. This is Crate Papers on Trend. And this is called Swanky. And it's a real nice wood grain. Almost looks like cartoonish. It's not a realistic look. And that's the flip side. I had to get two pieces of that. This is Basic Gray Lucille. Let me pick you up. I thought this would be good for some of the pictures of like my grandma, my great grandma, my aunts, older people in our family. Pictures from like the 50s and 60s is what I have in mind to use with this. But I also love this side. It's a very distressed polka dot, and it looks like newspaper and patterns are underneath your polka dot. So, got two of those. 
I wish I would have got two pieces of this. This is by Teresa Collins, and it has the best texture to it. Um, I thought when I bought it that I would cut the clocks out, but I don't know. This would make a great background. This is Teresa Collins, Now and Then. I don't see a name on it, but look at the background. And, you know, how many times can you look at grid paper? But the thing is with this, look at the little distressings in it. It looks like newsprint. I love how thick and solid and textured the cardstock is. I'm definitely getting more of this. And again, that's Teresa Collins, Now and Then. I already shared this in another haul, but I bought three more pieces. And it is the Main Gate paper from October Afternoon Midway Collection. In case you've not had a chance to look at this, which is probably highly unlikely, but I have a lot of Florida and beach pictures to do, and I think this is going to work wonderfully for those pictures. So I think I have like five or six pieces of it now. This is the Midway Collection, October Afternoon, and this is called Duck Pond. And this looks like a canvas purse or a canvas umbrella. Anyway, again, it really made me think of Florida, sunny pictures, sand. So I got two pieces of this. And this is the flip side, which I'll probably use on some of my pictures from the kids at uh, different onion amusement parks. You'll want to cut this up. Sorry, guys, it's going to be upside down, but look at the little Polaroid. And this says, over here, smile, say cheese. And that does sound like us. October afternoon, carousel, midway collection. And that's a flip side. These are very, very nice tickets. And this is Ticket Booth Midway Collection. And there's a flip side, which is cute in its own right. This is Tilt-A-Whirl. Nice summery chevron. This is from the Snap Collection, Snap Life, by Simple Stories. And it's just little Polaroids. And that's the flip side. More from the Snap Collection. And this is the uh, Bingo Cards. True Story. Smile Big. Real Life. Perfect. Enjoy every day. So happy. I like the little awesome one. Or the oh snap. And I like this olive green. And that's the flip side. I picked up the sticker sheet from the Snap Collection. I really like this uh, notebook thing here. The file folder. That's kind of cute too. The little tickets. I've already used these. There's a little Polaroid sticker. Look at the little happy face, cloud with text, people shapes. A boy's bicycle. Cute. 
camera. There you go. Oh, look at this little calendar. This is a really cute collection. And I like this little craft sticker that says, Heart This. Very, very, very cute. And that's the sticker sheet. I, I picked up a couple different types of red cardstock for my backgrounds at Christmas. And this is the We Are Memory Keepers Yuletide Red. Um, I like a cardstock that's heavy, thick, and very textured. Uh, this isn't bad. It's more of an orangey red, which is okay. I'll probably use it. And I just got two pieces of this. I think it was only like 30 or 40 cents on two peas. Remember, everything here comes from two peas. And again, that's the We Are Memory Keeper Yuletide Red. And this is the American Crafts Paper. I think I prefer this. It's, it's no heavier, but I like the texture and the color a little bit better. I picked up the uh, basic gray. What are these called? Mini Mono. And very nice. They've got little A's. Oh, where's the dime? There you go. And it'll give you an idea of the size. There's plenty of alphabets on here. Lowercase and uppercase. Only thing I don't like is trying to pick like the middle out of the A or the B's. I mean, it's not like it's a hard job. And this was like $1.50. I ordered the red and green today or yesterday. I like that so much. This is the label stickers, Sugar Shack, from the Midway Collection. I really like the gray labels on here. And look, you can use these with everything and anything. It doesn't have to be the Midway Collection. How cute are these little calendars, right? And they are all December. They are all the same. It's from Jenny Bolin. Christmas Fun Collection, and this is called Calendar, and you get 4, 8, 16 of them. Uh, be perfect if you decide to use something like this on your cards. Let me show you the size. It gives you an idea. And that's the flip side. I can live without that. I'm not one for the bingo chips. This is Lily B. Design Christmas Cheer. Frosty. And this is why I bought it. I actually have ordered some washi tape that is red and white polka dots, so I hope they go together. This is a sleigh ride by crepe paper, and this is a Christmas tree. Sleigh ride, crepe paper. Happy Holidays? Is that the name of this paper? Hang on. Yes. And this is the flip side. Sleigh paper. Or sleigh ride. And this is called Winter Wonderland. And there's the flip side. How pretty is this? Again, it's the crepe paper sleigh ride and this is called Rudolph and that's little trees guys I ended up ordering another piece of this it's from the sleigh ride collection this is called blue Christmas and I initially ordered it for this side look how it's distressed in there I didn't think I would like this but there's some pictures of my grandson out in the snow, and he's all bundled up, and I thought that might be kind of cute. And look at the edge. 
Love it. Basic gray clippings. I ordered it for this side. I thought this would actually make a good Christmas paper. And that's basic gray clippings. This and That by Lori Whitlock. Loving the look of this uh, wood grain. This is called Ornaments. That's the flip side, which I actually ordered a couple more pieces of this because I didn't think I would like the ornament side, but it's the exact colors that my grandson's vest and shirt is for Christmas this year. So that'll work perfect. And you can always use wood grain. This is This and That by Lori Whitlock. And this is, you know, I ordered this and I thought, ah, maybe i like it, maybe I won't. But it's very cute. Imagine using a little watercolor to just lightly, lightly color this in. So pretty. And use on your cards. And that's the flip side. I'm not too crazy about that. You know, it's not that I don't like it, but it's not unique. It's very general. I love both sides of this. This, again, is Lori Whitlock's This and That for Christmas. Look at Santa's ledger. I'll probably use this as a lot of backgrounds. And the flip side is adorable, too. Little doilies. The tags. You've got to have tags, right? This is from the This and That collection. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. My battery went dead. And I was just at the end of the video. Anyway... The last thing I showed you was the tags, and this next piece of paper is Very Merry Christmas, and this is called Quatra Foil, and let me pick you up here. It's like a newsprint. I like newsprint. And this is the flip side. actually bought it for both sides. So hopefully I just need a little bit of this and a little bit of the other side for my layouts. This next piece is Merry Merry Christmas. I think this is, yeah, Echo Park. And this is called Snowman. I wasn't so crazy about the design. You know, it's just little Christmas trees with snowflakes. But... This is the color of my grandson's Christmas sweater. Oh, here's why I bought this. is the little snowman. Yeah, that's it. I like the ledger of this. And again, this is Echo Park's Very Merry Christmas. Let me show you the top. And this is the flip side. And this is Home for Christmas uh, Fancy Pants Designs. And I'll probably use this on some of my old Christmas pictures. Like vintage, when I was a kid, when the kids were kids. Look how cute that is, the little wagon. Where is it? There it is. So, really nice if you have older Christmas photos you want to scrap. And that's the flip side. Nice in itself. Another vintage piece of paper. With the old dollies. And the train. Thank you.
there's the flip side, and this is pink paisley. Uh, city sidewalks, I bet. City shoppers. Now, this is the last piece of paper, and this is yours truly by Glitz Designs. And I'll tell you what sold me on this. I will probably use this on some of my Florida layouts. And there's the flip side. But look. Matching washi. So I thought that was kind of cute. Yours truly. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Glitz Design. I, I think this might be the first time I ever bought their paper. I do like their mini alphabets. But um, I really like that line. And I like that uh, cashmere dame. Now, I picked these up. These little glassine bags from Simon Says Stamp for a buck. There's, I think, uh, 12, 10 or 12 in there. And then I got these little ones, 12 pack for a dollar. Here's, oh, hello, A plus, good times, play, terrific. I almost didn't buy these. Superstar. Cool. Good morning. School days. What's up? Thank you so much. I hope you can see this. Good times. Did I show that? Awesome. Fabulous. Easy A. Eh? Exclamation mark. My favorite. You rock. And... Perfect. Very cute. I'm glad I got those. I also picked up, look at these little things. Uh, little like uh, wood, uh, wood veneer branches. I picked these up at Simon Says Stamp. Picked up the Midway buttons from October Afternoon. This is Snow Cone, October Afternoon. This goes with the Midway Collection. This is Gray and Cream, October Afternoon. Orange and Cream, October Afternoon. I think that this is uh, Witch Hazel. And would you believe that finally does it? Da -da -da -da. Guys, Thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry about the battery running out. And I will see you all soon. It's Saturday night by the time I finally finish this. And I hope you're all having a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.